<laughs> the 80s to see some dude who's just being successful, just doing what he do. Seriously, it's rare. I ain't saying it don't happen, but if you talk about like popular shit, like um, I'll give a shout out to that uh that whole ghost universe. When I first started watching that, I was watching it now for the criminal activity and shit, but they he was talking about getting out of it. That's what made me interested. If it was just straight criminal activity, I wouldn't have been interested because I can't relate to that shit. Because you got a lot of brothers out there, shit. I mean, they had to work hard for their success. They ain't, they ain't get it like like that. You know, they had to work hard. They had to have a certain personality. They had to, and let's just be real. We're in a racist society. Any, any person try to say it's not, you know, you get blocked because that's some stupid shit. You get some... A black man in the society getting microaggressions every day, and a successful black man is getting microaggressions every day. Boy, he's dealing with stereotypes. Like I said, not even just from uh, black women. Those I said women. Like I said, you got a lot of women, white women, Asian women, everything. They don't want the real brother right there. They want the stereotype. They want what they see in the rap videos and shit, or that jock or some shit like that. You know. She, you know, or what their expectation is, not dealing with who the man actually is. And, you know, regardless of the race, many women don't know how many women, not all women, fortunately not all women, but then you get a lot of men, you know, they made it to the top, but they might not have come, they might not have been in those circles where you got some sincere women. Now, I recommend they try to, but, you know, if they ain't grow up, start off up in middle class, like, Especially if they started off like working class or something like that.